I just got up about five minutes ago, 10 minutes ago or something. Got off work this morning, went to the gym, came home and you know, I, uh, I'm very excited. But in a way, I want it to happen. I want everything to happen, but I don't want to be there when it happens. You know, I'm just, I have uh, my mind on the finish line and that's all I could really think of. But the rest from right now to then, I, I don't know what's happening. And that to me, honestly, is a struggle. It's a such a big struggle. Um, like, how do I put this match together? How do I, you know, if it is my last match, do what do I do? You know, I want I want to be able to not just entertain the fans and send them home happy. Tell them thank you in a way I can do it by wrestling. But then at the same time, I've been on this ride this whole time. Should I not try to thank myself in a way? You know, and it sounds very egotistical and it sounds very selfish. But at the same time, no one really knows the journey I've taken. Except for me. I mean, my wife's been at my side this whole time. But she doesn't know all the circuits that have been going off in my head. All the gears that have been um, moving in my head. Um, all the things that... I've thought of all the things that I felt. Like I said, I want it to happen. I just don't want to be there when it happens. Um, and I thought about it this morning. I don't know what angle I should take, what character I should portray. That's that's another thing that like I've played the same El Chido character but different forms of the character and I'd like to represent that those different forms somehow either the one with the red mask, the purple mask, um, pink tights, black tights, white tights, long tights I, you know, I don't know which one right now I just thought of Ricky Mandel's mom actually made me a few tights when we were tag team I'd like to wear one of those as well. So it's it's a lot to think about and then compounded with the you know the possibility of it being my last match. It's a uh... Oh, okay. I'm going to go and go pick up Emily from school. And I still got a few hours to think about it. So, all right. Before picking up Emily from school, I visited my dad, who had just had surgery two days prior. He did his best to show me he was okay. Once Emily and I got back home, we got down to work filming daddy-daughter retro reviews, unboxing several vintage figures. Since tonight is a hair versus hair match, I hired my wife to be the barber. But I had to wait around for my wife and Emily to get ready, so I kind of just Stood around looking at the time. About an hour later, we were finally on the road. How do you feel, Bubby? I'm really tired. You are? It's been a long week because um, next week is my last week of school. And there's just so many things to be worrying about. So I guess I'm tired because I've been stressing a lot. Yeah. Did at least uh, doing the retro reviews, did that take your mind off a few things? Yeah, yeah. that was fun. Me too. Yeah. How about you, Pepe? I'm good. I'm really tired, but I'm good. So we're all, we all agree in that. Can't wait till it's over? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we're here. Okay. Yep. Although kayfabe is essentially dead, I still love wrestling too much to record Ricky and I arranging the story for tonight's match. Stressful as it is, I was having a lot of fun collaborating with Ricky. 
as it always has been. I had no idea he was going to come out to my entrance music. I wish somebody would have let me know. I almost walked out there like a goose. Joe was running late. It was late in the evening. And some actually left during the semi-main event. So when I went out there and I saw that this place was still packed, man, I loved it. Especially the crowd reaction. footage of this match from two different angles. My two cameramen trying to find the best possible shot gravitated to the same spot. I noticed and tried somehow to signal them to move away from each other. It's difficult to be the director and performer, especially in the middle of a wrestling match. time for me, I'm gonna make them count. Gino, Gino, Gino. 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 At this point, I could see the finish line. I didn't want to. 13 years, 13 years, but I had to.
worked so hard for many years to develop this character. Physically, mentally, no one knew this character more than I did. I felt joy over him. Sometimes I'd even be mad at him. Sometimes I'd be annoyed by him. Like a father for his son. But I always loved him. El Chido. Goodbye. Being a nobody all my life, I can tell you, never forget that sometimes the little things you do can go a long way. Wrestling life isn't easy. You love it. You hurt for it. But at the end, wrestling doesn't need me nor want me. But there's someone out there who does. I have peace with God through my Lord Jesus Christ.